think the combination of ClickUp's task view, which is extremely clear, it's a very nice clean UI, all the information is at your fingertips in the view, in conjunction with ClickUp's list view. This list view isn't replicated in JIRA, and so just like the, unlike the task view, the list view, I can have as many data attributes here as I need. I can allow teams to add a Moscow indicator. I can use a rice prioritization. I can use t-shirt sizing, sprint points, time estimations. I'm not limited to choosing one way to prioritize tasks. I'm not limited to choosing one way of estimating tasks. So if you see on my screen and click up, I have everything here. I've got sprint points, t-shirt sizing, and time estimates. No team would likely use all three of those estimation methods, but it's available and I could use all three. And then from a transparency aspect, marketing can understand how long developers will take if there's a time estimate. Scrum masters will understand how long something will take for planning if we're using sprint points. So it's just, we can speak to the languages of the other teams, which is another advantage of working in ClickUp. It's so customizable. Marketing's not gonna be confused. if They have their own space, they have their own tasks, they have their own completely different setup. And there isn't really a learning curve for them to jump into ClickUp because we're not trying to teach them a software like Jira that's very innate to software developers, but not always very second nature for other teams that need to work in the same project management tool. So I have all this available in the list view, which isn't as customizable in JIRA. And if I click into a task, I have all that same information available in ClickUp also. ClickUp has spent a lot of time, and this is 3.0, the new rollout of the new task view. So information is very condensed. It's easy to find all of my task attributes in one area. It's easy to see all of the development work, the status, who it's assigned to, the due dates. It's easy to see all of those other items that help me uh, understand what needs to be developed and all those data attributes that we're tracking through custom fields. I have those attachments. And once again, it's so important in Scrum teams and for developers to focus. So if I want to come out to the parent task level and see these attributes, we're now with 3.0, I can click into the subtasks and I can just see the subtasks that are assigned to me and I can block everything out of my view so I can concentrate on the work that I need to do. We have the ability to add subtasks and we also have the ability to add checklists. The other attribute that ClickUp has that is far superior to JIRA is the relationship independencies feature. So it's extremely easy to create a relationship or a dependency between tasks and between subtasks. In JIRA, I need to actually address the dependency before the next item that's blocked can be worked on. In ClickUp, we know we use dependencies for all different items. I might just want a dependency to show that two items, one should be started before the other, but they could be worked on simultaneously. So ClickUp's dependencies and relationships are a lot more flexible than JIRA's. Work isn't blocked uh, just because there's a dependency. Maybe we just need to know that there's minimal slack time between two items or two items are related and that once work begins on one item, we can easily bring awareness to that work for the next uh, item that needs to be addressed. 